we now we're figuring things out. Now we're gonna play. Is it Bluetooth or <laughs> is it not? Yay. Okay, so this thing's right here. Sally believes it's not Bluetooth. Is she correct? Sally might be wrong because. What do our judges say? It is Bluetooth. <laughs> guys to the fourth installment of this wiring procedure for these things that I'm retrofitting on my car. First of all, I want to apologize for not publishing this video on time. Unfortunately, real life came in the way and a lot of other things didn't allow me to put it on Thursday as I usually try to put them up. But uh, I will definitely try to put two videos very one after the other. This one and the next one for making the pins and the wiring of the MBT unit and the ATM in the truck of the car. Thank you for sticking around and let's get this final wiring episode done. Is it? Yeah, it is. It's Bluetooth. Okay. Uh, wait, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sure yet. Okay, Sally doesn't know. Oh, Sally doesn't know yet. Is it Bluetooth or not? <laughs> Our contestants. Our contestant looks challenged and confused. Bluetoothly challenged. <laughs> this is the wire for the thing. The wire that goes to nowhere. This one, it is the Bluetooth. So yeah, that is the Bluetooth antenna. So that's the Bluetooth antenna. Yeah. Based on what, the color? Yeah, based on the color, it is the Bluetooth antenna. In order to retrofit the MBT Evo here, we have to re you have to remove this pairs of cables from the quad lock here and you have to remove it from this side here which has two little blue pins here that you have to take out and then inside here i don't know if you can come very very close let me try it inside this the way to remove them is push that needle through there and then pull each one of these pins out. The positions I will also put in a diagram so you can pull them out but they are come out of this plug right here. And this ones will be replaced on the OBR plug on the MBT EVO. So just be keep that in mind. And for the secondary microphone we had to wire these three cables. So we made our own loom here that goes from this side, goes under the passenger side, onto the pillar, a pillar, goes all the way up and it goes to the microphone. So it was a not so complicated thing to do, but it is kind of a methodic and painful. So and this if, thing- If you're, you're kind of like, careful like us and you want to have it properly sort of wired and loomed together it's gonna to take you a little bit longer yeah a lot longer but if you just want to slap it on like uh most people like do. a maniac then i'm sure you'll save some time right so the the, the position for this new microphone it, they all go here in the first section of the of yeah. the of the quad lock here Okay, and I'm going to put the positions, the numbers where they go. Uh, block there? Yeah, right here. Yeah. So I'm going to put the numbers where you have to plug them. And yes, I'm going to put, the, I'm going to make this a little nicer because so, it looks so like... So can you show me the loom that you created? Here. It's this just whole this. thing you created yourself? Yeah, it's just a, just a twisted wire and a ground. And where'd you get the cable? Uh, I got it from uh, just some random wires that I had from another uh, right. Okay. BMW okay. E38, uh, E90, I think. So this is the Frankenstein there. This is a Frankenstein, yes. So it makes sense to have a set of uh, wires. You don't know what gauge they are, do you? Uh, I think they're 24. These There's wires. one smaller one and two larger ones. So yeah. I guess the ground would be the larger yeah. one. And this the, is this uh, is this is what the original microphone cable looks like. It's just a shielded. Three pair, <laughs> three pair, <laughs> three wire twisted cable. Like they are all the same size, but you know, I didn't have it. 
and I just use random cables, so, but okay. it works. It doesn't give error, so that's that's all you need. So, Will we show a diagram for that as well? Yes, I'm okay. gonna put a diagram for this. All right. Great. That's it. Back to assembly. Okay, so now we're gonna pass the uh, Wi-Fi antenna that comes from the back of the unit, the head unit, to somewhere here, and it lives somewhere here. For that, we're gonna lift the rug. Is there an actual place for it? Yep. Right here. See. So, the antenna, it goes right here, you have a, a little guide and it just put it on the foam and then we are going to follow the, the wiring, the OEM wiring. We're gonna also gonna pass the uh, category six uh, wire that goes to the ATM in the trunk. Um, so for this, what? Same same thing that you did with oh, this. Can you one. go on this side? Um, no, but the the path the, the, the path is this. Same path as this. Going along this. Yeah, way. and then it goes to the back. So we're gonna go through the same hole. Yep. Bloody yeah. <laughs> yeah, bloody wanker. In order to continue passing the cable, we have to remove the side trim and we're gonna go all the way to the back. We, we need to put the seat down. Do? Yeah. Okay, so there we go and Whenever you remove those things, this plastic things come out and they are attached here to this uh, little metal, metal, metallic thingy. All right, just plug it down. back in. Yeah, but uh, make, make sure it's in the right direction. Yep, yeah, like, there, there you go. go. So that's it. There's something here. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, this, oh, uh, there's there's a thing. Yeah, the, the, the speaker. Okay. Clips over. All right. Okay. So. so I guess we're gonna run the cable along there, following further this gigantic beam of cables into what we call the trunk. Okay. Recap, gameplay highlights, <laughs> um, car 10 as zero, <laughs> yes, um, cable 
is running is running from here the the ethernet cable is running from here going the cat six following right? this path this then here goes all the way here following the same path going through this duct and it takes a turn and it goes in sideways <laughs> into the into the pitfall of doom <laughs> and then it goes just down following the same duct over there and reaching the atm that's the path that uh we decided to do for this cable that's the path of success right there and it's working pretty good well we don't know yet but it will it will okay so the wi-fi antenna we passed it from here following this route here all the way where it's supposed to live right here under the passenger seat that's can't pick that out just to show there it is the wi-fi antenna it so, just kind of rests it's there chills there and that's it wi-fi around parallel to that line of cable we passed the category 6 shielded cable through $40 for that thing <laughs> so that's all you need to do to get the wiring done from the front part of the car so right now you can put everything back together just backtrack your steps put back all your screws and remember if you miss one well put it in that box that you have the extra spare parts now the only thing that's left to do is pass the roof antenna cable uh, for the GPS that goes to the ATM module and the pinning of the plug, the quad lock and as well as the OB, OADR on both ends so you need to do that pinning on the head unit as well as on the ATM and I'll show you that how to do it on a separate video that I will try to put uh, faster I won't take, it won't take a, a week but I'll I'm making a video where I am teaching you how to do the pinning as well as an adapter to uh, put from your old TCU to the ATM so you don't have to take out pins on the original um, plug. So anyway, uh, let's go to get the antenna installed. The roof antenna, which is approximately right here, it's gonna come following the wires this way. Then we're gonna have to remove this back trim continue this way the loom is somewhere in here continue here here and finally coming to our ATM which is right there to remove the trim top you have to pull on this side and on this side there are two pins and then pull it backwards towards the back of the car there we go so you have just two pins and this, so here are your antennas for other stuff. This is for the keyless entry remote, I, I believe. And the antenna, the shark fin antenna, this is mostly known, it's right there. And we can see our GPS plug right there, which we're gonna replace with the new cable that we have right here. So we're just gonna replace this one since this cable goes all the way to the front to the MVT and obviously we are not gonna use it anymore. So the roof is held by this two same thing white plugs we just pull it down on one side and same thing happens on this side. Alright there we go and now that gives us enough room to squeeze our hand in there and uh remove the plug and do whatever the hell we need to do in there we remove the armrest same way that we removed it on the other side and there are three pins that hold this um, plasticky bracket here so it's those two on the top and one on the side so just remove these three things and you're good so to remove the trim on the side it's the same process as usual just pull this clip the metal clip and then you have these two other plastic clips and they hold basically in here here and here so what you got to do is pull the top first pull the top first here then pull it here and then from underneath you pull it here and 
before you can slide it, you have to slide it out towards this way. And then it just comes out. Do not do, do not try to force it out of this thing because you're gonna break the piece. And that's definitely something you don't want because this thing is probably like 200 bucks. So don't. All right, so we're gonna continue passing our wire. Now that we have it plugged to the antenna, we're gonna follow the, uh, the OEM um, wire loom here. So we're gonna do, it's gonna come this way. We're gonna go this. As you can see here, we have the antenna cables. And then instead of coming towards the front, because that's where the original one goes, we're gonna follow this path here that is definitely gonna go somewhere, somewhere in here. And then just here, All right? Headliner, to remove this, there's a screw, a T20 Torx here that just holds the roof in place. You have to remove this and then you can put this down so you can put the wire through it. And then this is the router we're gonna pass it through. Here, and if you lift this thing, you can see that we have access basically to the, to the trunk area. Then we're gonna try to follow loom of wires here and then just go all the way to the trunk. And we are done. So everything goes backwards the way we did it. So we push this in, we slide this card like that. We put the trim back in, everything is nice. And the only thing left to do is put this thing back in, which is obviously the opposite way that we put, take, took it out. So we put those two little clips inside and slide it in. All right, done. Thank you guys for sticking around for all these four episodes. Uh, it's been a long ride, as I said before, but I think we're good. Uh, the next episode, I think I'm gonna try to put it, and we're done. Finally, we're done with the wiring uh, of the cables and all that stuff. Um, now you just gotta put everything back, as I said. On the next episodes, we're gonna get to the, probably the part that you guys have been waiting for, which is, putting all the units back in, uh, coding them and enabling the options, obviously. Also in the next episode, I'm gonna show you guys how do I change my windshield, what kind of windshield it is. Make sure to check out that episode. It's quite interesting to see how this apparently easy task is quite elaborated. I wasn't really aware of how difficult it was to change a windshield on these cars. And uh, yeah, stick around for that one. So thanks again and see you soon. Bye.